Wagner is the most influential composer who ever lived. Richard Wagner was born on May 22, 1813, in Leipzig, Germany. His stepfather instilled him with a love of theater, and by 21, Wagner wrote The Fairies, his first opera. Wagner was devoted to the theater from an early age. In fact, at age 15, he actually considered that he would become more of a playwright than a composer. And he wrote a drama, and in classic Wagnerian style, it was full of murder and insanity and, and quite the tragedy. In 1840, he became the first music director of the theater in Riga, Russia. But it was in Dresden, Germany in 1842, when Wagner staged Rienzi, that he became a noted composer. Wagner wrote a number of operas sort of to learn the trade, and one Rienzi uh, had some success. But it's really with The Flying Dutchman and Tannhäuser and Lohengrin that he begins to develop a prominent career. Due to his controversial politics, Wagner was forced to leave Dresden for Zurich in 1848 and spent 12 years in exile. Wagner is justifiably known today as a racist and a sort of proto-Nazi in a way. He was extremely anti-Semitic. Wagner had been Yes, a revolutionary socialist at the time of the uh, 1848 revolution, but his later writings actually had a great influence on Hitler. During his time in Zurich, Wagner wrote a set of notable essays entitled The Artwork of the Future, and at the same time began work on the four opera cycle, The Ring of Nibelung. Wagner developed a concept called Gesamtkunstwerk, total artwork. His idea was to combine dance, poetry, the stagecraft of the theater, lighting, and of course, music. And through that, transcend anything that had been previously experienced before in the theater. With The Ring of the Nibelung, Wagner's musical and dramatic ideas really began to gel. Specifically, it was sort of the crowning creation of his leitmotivic technique, the method of creating a musical theme or a musical motif for every character, place, thing, event, even idea in an opera. And it was actually adopted by Hollywood in the 30s and 40s, and we see it, of course, in the John Williams scores for the Star Wars saga. During an adulterous love affair, Wagner wrote his opera of forbidden love, Tristan and Isolde, which he completed in 1859 and saw it staged six years later. Tristan and Isolde, is one about young lovers that desire each other. And to convey this desire, Wagner wrote what we call chromatic music. It's uh, music that doesn't resolve, that you feel a constant sort of yearning, and it only is resolved when the characters die at the end. But the impact of this type of writing, even for composers that never wrote operas themselves, was enormous. Wagner completed his final opera, Parsifal, in 1882 and the following year he died of a heart attack at the age of 69. But Wagner's influence can still be heard in modern film scores such as Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. The path of music changed forever with Wagner. He pushed harmony, he pushed form, he pushed drama to levels that had never before been seen. 